about him anyway. Today we are in Promontory, Utah. And this is northern Utah, and this is the site of the Golden Spike. Today happens to be the anniversary of the said event, so there's going to be a little display going on here. I don't know what this looks like regularly, but we've got the two trains here, we've got some people dressed up in period clothing, and there's going to be a recreation of the event. So we're looking forward to seeing that. As you can see behind me here, beautiful Utah landscape. sparse out here. Can you imagine what it would be like over 150 years ago?
hundreds of men who gave their lives that we might stand here in this moment and share one with another the sacred occasion. Among those whose presence we are honored to acknowledge at this time include a number of railroad officials from both lines in addition to those taking part in the ceremony. We're pleased to have reporters from some of America's great newspapers from the territory of Utah, among other dignitaries present, is Bishop John Sharp, the railroad bishop, representing Governor Brigham Young, who in all likeliness was unable to complete his honeydew chore and time to make it out to the ceremonies. However, we, we also have, he, he brought some of the wives with him, that you need this for the night. Did you unite the Atlantic and the Pacific by a new line? 
called upon to meet the completion of a work so magnificent in contemplation and so marvelous in execution. California, within whose borders and by whose citizens the Pacific Railroad was inaugurated, desires to express her appreciation for her and her sister states of the great work which, the, which has been completed. From her mines of gold, she has forged the spike. From her laurel woods, she has hewn a tie. By the hands of her citizens, she offers them to become part of this great highway, which is about to unite her in closer fellowship with her sisters of the Atlantic. From her bosom was taken the first soil. Let hers be the last tie and the last spike. And with them, accept the hopes and wishes of her people that the success of your enterprise will not stop short of its brightest promise. This spike was donated by Mr. Frank Marriott, publisher of the San Francisco Newsletter. Its inscription reads, with this spike, the San Francisco Newsletter offers its homage to the great work which has joined the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean this month, May 1869. In conclusion, I should like to draw your attention to this spike, the gift of David Hughes of San Francisco. On its head is inscribed the last spike. On three sides, the names of railroad officials. And on the fourth side, this sentence. May God continue the unity of our country as this railroad unites the two great oceans of the world. check out. Very interesting. A lot of history here, of course. And uh, if you're here towards the middle of May, you get to see that awesome show. I don't think they do that any other time. It just happened to be dumb luck that we visited when that was going on. All right. If you like what I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.